Hello folks and welcome to Cure Questions. Today I'm going to show you how to take a look at the G-Code files in text format using an extra program called Notepad++. Hey folks, Technivers here and welcome back to another Cure Questions. Now this question isn't particularly to do with Cure, but I wanted to introduce you to another application that might be useful to you because I've had a lot of questions lately about how to view G-Code. Now there are several apps and slicers that have their own G-Code viewers such as Prusa Slicer and you can open that up and use it to open a pre-sliced file that is saved as G-Code and take a look at a 3D representation of that model. You cannot, however, edit or change that G-code. So, I'm gonna go to my desktop here. We're gonna save this as a G-code file. And I'm gonna show you real quickly what I do. All I'm doing, I brought this to my desktop, and all I'm gonna do is right click on it and open it. So, we're gonna go to open with and we're gonna find this program I'm using down here called notepad plus plus and that is this guy right here now you can open G code in pretty much any text editor and your notepad will work so if I go to file and open don't save don't need that and go to desktop and all files okay because it's not record it ends in dot g code so it's not showing up if i hit all files it will it's this one right here i can hit open and it will open it and it's giving me basically just the exact same thing as i'm getting in notepad plus plus the reason i like notepad plus plus is because it has built-in languages for programming so if you want to open a file that is say a java file or a c sharp file and take a look at it this is the best all-around program for doing that now, we have the G code, the machine code that is going to be sent to our printer when we put this file in the printer. And we can see a lot of information in here from the flavor of G code we're using to how much time it should take, as well as the filament used, the layer height, and a lot of the settings. Now, we can alter this, okay? But you need to keep in mind that it's calculating all of this stuff down here based on these previous numbers. So, if I change my layer height, it's not going to recalculate the extrusion amount. It's just going to change the layer height, which means I'm going to end up with a, if I increase the layer height, I'm going to end up with an under extruded model. So I don't recommend playing around with the G code and messing with it too much. One of the very handy things you might want to use this for and to check is to take a look at your start and end G code for whatever your printer is that you're running. So let's see if we can find that. This is basically just a bunch of coordinates where it's telling the print head to go and the E is how much to extrude and then once in a while you'll see it move up as well. Let me start from the bottom here. Here we go. And this is our end G code. Okay. This is exactly what you will find when you click right here and go to settings, printer, manage printers. And if I go into machine settings here and look at this, relative positioning, retract a bit, retract and raise Z, wipe out, raise Z more. You can see that all that stuff is this stuff right here. So I found it. So why is this useful? Well, let's start off by, remember when you got your first machine and you put in that little card and you printed that example and it came out just perfect. And then when you decided to slice your own model and get everything lined up, it took you a lot of dialing in and things to get everything exactly where you wanted it. Well, one of the things that this is helpful for is pulling out this start and end G code. So, I can actually load into my computer a pre-sliced file that comes on one of these hard drives or one of these disks that comes with your printer and we can open the pre-sliced demo file and we can get a idea of what their settings are and kind of glean some useful information out of there. So um, I do have a video on exactly how to do that somewhere around here on the channel but basically it's pretty simple. You're going to plug the card in and you're going to open that file in notepad or notepad plus plus and once you do that you're going to find the ng code and that's basically going to be where all of this stuff stops all of this is model printing 
So I need the stuff that is just after it. And there's also start G code, which is way easier to find. It's right here, Ender 3 custom start G code. It might not say, it, well, it won't say Ender 3 unless it's an Ender 3. But basically, um, all of this stuff right here is going to be your start code. So this is a very, very handy tool to have. If you need to make small alterations, you can, but I wouldn't recommend changing anything that might mess up your extrusion rate. So um, mostly just for the start and NG code, or if you want to see a certain command that they use to shut off an extruder or push the platform forward after the print is done or things like that. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope it was helpful to you. Notepad++ is free to download and use, and it is very, very useful for a lot of different things. So definitely recommend checking it out. Give those guys a little support, and uh, let me know what you think about this little tutorial down in the comments. If you have any more questions, please, please, please leave them here. I am always out to answer your Kira questions and happy to do so. So ring that notification bell. You can get notified next time we post one of these videos, and make sure you subscribe to the channel we do these videos pretty regularly and i am always open to suggestions for new questions that's going to be it guys take nervous out stick around guys i got another youtube recommended video for you right here and if you haven't already subscribe 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 make sure that you smash that like button we'll see you in the next one take nervous out